Good morning, Jessica. Well, that means that because of this state of emergency, they're trying to secure more assistance from the federal level as well as the state level to try to clear their local highways and their roads. As we know, there's another brutal storm that could be on its way soon, as you heard from our meteorologist there, Mark Kriske. And this is a line of semi trucks as well as pickup trucks that are waiting to put on their chains and possibly be escorted 15 at a time up the mountain. We are live here in Lake Arrowhead. And as you see on the other side of the mountain, look at all of that. It is not only snow cap, there is snow absolutely everywhere, causing major problems for travel, closing down some businesses. Take a look at this new video from overnight. This Valero gas station running out of gas, quite literally. That's in Rim Forest over by Highway 18 and Pine Avenue. A lot of those locations uh, actually are running out of fuel. A lot of people trying to get there to take a break, put on their chain as well on their tires, but we're told they're already running out of 87, 89 in diesel grade fuel. They only have 91 grade left. Now, this is a problem because unfortunately, uh, over by Highway 189 in Blue Jay, they have uh, closed down some of those streets because of two massive trees that fell. They also have small businesses, bars and restaurants that are just trapped and they had to shut down because of up to seven feet of snow. So that's uh, just an estimation, but they are dealing with so much. So far, they've had five feet of snow over the last five days. And with another winter storm on its way, those mountain roads could possibly be reopened on a timeline, but that timeline is still questionable. Same goes for State Route 330. Uh, stranded drivers put on their chains, hoping they finally will be allowed to go up Highway 18 toward Crestline. Now, Caltrans once again has been escorting about 15 vehicles at a time, depending on the weather. A lot of these residents and short-term renters have been trapped in their homes, unable to get to their houses as well. Hundreds of students from Irvine School District evacuated the Pali Institute in Running Springs during a winter camp. Alicia Shelley, well, she says that her daughter was supposed to get home Thursday, but she's been stuck. I considered driving up there a couple times just because it's, you know, you feel like you have more control that way, but you really don't. I mean, I've never driven in, you know, in a blizzard. I've never driven really in snow before. So, so I just didn't feel safe kind of making that trip myself. Caltrans didn't have enough people to, as well as uh, equipment to keep up with the storm. So they were able to just got backed up. Well, this video shows mostly empty shelves at Goodwin's grocery store in Crestline. That new video showing those shelves. Uh, people are just buying out the bread, fruits and vegetables. The store says they are fully stocked with other items, including canned goods. But as you saw, there are the gas stations, businesses and grocery stores having major problems because of this wicked storm. So uh, round two, round three on its way back out here live. There is a break in the storm, as you see right now in our live video, but we're hearing those tire chains being put on those semi trucks as you see here, but it's a wait and go situation. A lot of folks have been trapped here for hours, if not days. We're going to talk to them in the uh, coming hours, new in the eight o'clock and nine o'clock hours. We're live here in Lake Arrowhead with the very latest Gene Kang. Back to you in the studio.